<sighs> no postseason for the Royals, but this fall we will still be celebrating the Kansas City baseball champion. 75 years ago, the Kansas City Monarchs won the Negro League World Series. Uh, there weren't celebrations and praise, though, that we saw in 2015. The Negro Leagues Museum hopes to change all that. Let's go, Royals! Before that 2015 magical season, before we were raised royal, Kansas City had heart. When you think about what we saw in 2015 when the Royals won the World Series and how elated and how jubilant and how it brought so many of us together of all races, of all genders, of all ages to celebrate our Kansas City Royals. Well, it should have been that way in 1942. The 1942 Kansas City Monarchs won the Negro League World Series. That Monarch team was filled with great athletes. Satchel Paige, Hilton Smith, Willard Brown. I own the late great John Buckle Neal at first base. While you now know many of these names, there wasn't much fanfare back then in such a racially polarized time. The Negro Leagues Baseball Museum hopes to change that on the 75th anniversary of that championship. It's an opportunity for us to celebrate them in a way that perhaps they didn't get celebrated in 1942. Bob Kendrick is calling the campaign the heart of a champion. And it meant something to be a Kansas City Monarch. This 42 team, man, they would have beat so many of these teams. Along with the recent success of the Royals, the sacrifice these men made really laid the groundwork for generations to come just like a perfect bunt. That's evident here at Satchel Page Field, where the game is being taught to hundreds of inner city youth. Those guys could play, man, and those guys, you could see them and you could relate with them, you know, because they look like us, you know. Wasn't a lot of guys playing baseball that looked like us. As director of the Reviving Baseball in the Inner City, or RBI League, Ron Stevenson helps mold the minds of future stars on the field named after a monarch. Baseball is the only sport, the only sport in the world where you can average 300 and they will pay you millions. If you have a job and you're doing your job at 30%, what's going to happen? <laughs> It's an opportunity afforded to these young people thanks to the contributions of these champions. The city has a great legacy of great baseball. It starts with the Kansas City Monarchs. You know, one thing I learned, Jackie Robinson, who broke the color barrier, he actually played for the Monarchs as well a couple years after this 42 team. The Heart of a Champion campaign will be a host of programs and events leading up to Buck O'Neill's 106th birthday celebration. The Negro Leagues Museum will have updates posted via social media.